Hello and welcome back to the football chat. We are here for Premier League predictions game week 20. And um, yeah, this is the games after Boxing Day on the Tuesday, the Wednesday and the Thursday, the 28th, 29th and the 30th of December. And yeah, some pretty some pretty interesting fixtures and some not so interesting fixtures on this board. And um, yeah, I think we'll just get right into them. I think every game is televised. So the first one, this is the 12.30 on the Tuesday, I know. Weird timings, but whatever. It's Arsenal versus Wolves. Um, Cricket score. I, yeah, Wolves are really good. No, Arsenal going to win this easily. At home, Arsenal are incredible. Yeah, I have to agree. I'm going to have to go for Arsenal to win, even though it upsets me because I really wanted to go for Wolves to win because to, just to upset Connor, really. Uh, that's a bit rude. No, um, no, it's just that every he, he says that every time we do prem predictions, I predict Arsenal to win. No, he said you predicted Arsenal to lose every time. That's what I meant, yeah. yeah. Arsenal to lose, yeah. so... No. I'm going to keep that up, and Wolves are going to win 2-1. No, they're not. Arsenal are going to win 4-0. That, they could well do that, but I'm going to... I've gone, I'm going Saka, for the differential. Smith Rowe, Lacazette... And Actually, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to go 3 nil Arsenal. Yeah, I'm going to go 4-0. I reckon Aubameyang's going PSG, but that is a Ooh. discussion Whoa. for another day. Right now, talking about more important things like what is going to be the score at Crystal Palace versus Norwich. Well, Palace in good form, Norwich also in decent form under Dean Smith. I really think this could go either way. I'm going to go for a 2-0 away win for Norwich. You are absolutely drunk. Well, I'm not. It's just fun, mate. You think Norwich are keeping a clean sheet away at Palace? Yep. They should have some centre backs back by then. I'm going to say 1 1. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Fair enough. Who's going to score? Gallagher for Palace. Play, plays it through to Ben Teke, who scores. Right, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, for me. nailed it. And then um, Norwich will be a, a pookie. Yep. Plays it. No, I'm joking. Pookie. <laughs> I'm going to go Pookie and Gilmore to score for Norwich and Palace to lose 2 0 at Billy home. G. On to the next one. It is Southampton versus Tottenham. Oh, is that Southampton? Could Southampton no, spring an upset? No, no. Breuer, a Chelsea Academy star Tottenham against Tottenham. Tottenham playing really well under Conte. Oh, they played well against Liverpool. Yes. That's their first game for a month. Also, you don't know how they got on at the Boxing yeah, Day. Yeah, we're through a call before Boxing Day, obviously. But, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to go for a 3-1 win for Tottenham. I was going to say... I'm going to say 2-1. Yeah, I think Breuer will score for yeah. the Saints and then a Kane hat-trick. Oh, I think it's going to be Adam Armstrong, volleys it in, if and he's then fit. Kane and Son. I think, I think Armstrong's still out, but whatever. Um, <laughs> Shh, he's coming back. back. Is he? Yeah, <laughs> with a broken whatever he's broken. Um, yeah. Or whatever, he's right. injured. The double Next up, <laughs> the double you battle. It's Watford versus West Ham. Um, both W's in London. Yeah. Wow. Um, That's quite cool. I'm sh- anyway. yeah sh- sure whatever. Uh, Watford at home could they spring up? So I think they could. I don't. Go on then. What are you going for? I'm gonna say three one West Ham. I'm gonna go two one Watford. I'm gonna say an early Dennis goal, and then. Uh, uh, Bowen and Lanzini masterclass. I'm going to go Josh King to open the scoring for Watford. Then it's going to be levelled up by Declan Rice, and then Trooster Kong will get the winner for he's Watford. Terrible that no, but he can, he's, he's got he's tall. He it'll just awful. come off his forehead. He's so bad from a corner or something. I'm just like just slap him in the face and go in. That's what I'm predicting. Yeah, a 90th minute winner. Watford fans go mental. Yeah, fair enough. Little Christmas present a what few for days after. Some good fans. Yeah. yeah. Elton John. Yeah. On to the next yeah. one. Leeds versus Villa. It's at it's Leeds, Leeds, but Villa are in good form and Leeds are. This aren't. is going to be a flying. I don't think it will. The Leeds, the Le- the, they're at home. They've just lost, like, probably lost to Liverpool. Oh, 7 0 yeah. to City. Exactly. 4 1 to Arsenal. They need to bounce back, especially in front of their home crowd. And they won't. Which are going to be better. It's going to be a very animos, animosic animosity. Yeah. A lot of animosity. They're also racist. In the crowd. Okay. In the crowd. Um, Villa go in. Oh, yeah, the Arsenal instant. Um, yeah. 
Villa are going to win this game. I think Leeds could win this. So easy. No, they won't. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win you are for Leeds United. So stupid. Bamford will score no. again. And then it will be um, Jamie Shackleton. Right, okay. He's going to score a late winner. I'm going to say 3-1 Villa. 2-1. So Bamford will score first. No, sorry, Villa will score first with Watkins in like the fifth minute. Oh, yeah, Bamford yeah, will level yeah. it up before half time. Then Jamie Shackleton is going to score a really good goal in like the 66th minute. He's going to knee slide. Cool. Villa will win 3 1. Right. I think it'll be so a, biased. It'll, no, I'm not. No. So biased. No, I just think Villa is way better than Leeds. I think that sure. is Wat- Watkins, um, Buendia, and John McGinn. And then Bamford yeah. will score a late consolation. Fair enough. And Onto the Leeds the... fans will boo. Well, and on to the, the first of the Wednesday games. It's Leicester versus... I think this is the first of the Wednesday games. Possibly. I might be wrong. I'm going to fact check myself. But Leicester versus Liverpool. I think it's going to be our big scoreline. Mm, well, Leicester have just come off the back of a win at City. No, we don't know that. We don't it's know on the Tuesday, Leicester City. versus Liverpool. No, but I'm, I'm predicting what I think is going to happen. So, Liverpool, so, based on my predictions, Leicester have just lost to City and Liverpool have just lost to Leeds. Uh, no, so I'm predicting that Leicester have no, lost, sorry, Leicester to, West, City. Have lost yeah. to City. Liverpool have come off the back of a big win at Leeds. I think Leicester are going to struggle. I think Liverpool are going to be strong. And I think Liverpool will win 2-0. 1-1. One, one. No. Uh, Harvey Barnes for Leicester and then that Ooh, um, inevitable the inevitability Italy, of Mohamed Salah scoring. No, that'll be Salah and Jota and it'll be 2 0, job done, easy peasy. Whatever. Right. On to the next one. It is Chelsea versus Brighton. It's the first of the Wednesday games, for real this time. And um Yeah, Chelsea obviously with a depleted squad at the moment. But I think they you should like still be able to beat Brighton. They Boyd might Boyd. have Lukaku and Werner and all that back. But uh, I'm going to go for a 3 0 Chelsea win. I'm going to say 2 0. I'm going to go for a Mason Mount hat trick. I'm going to go for Mason Mount. Because he's carrying Kai. us at the moment. I'm going to go for Mason Mount and Kai Havertz. Ooh. Oh, that's oh. worth. Guy Abbas is the best yeah, on I think, I think And he's scored against Man City. And that's who we're doing. Next, it's the Wednesday game. It's the evening game. It's Brentford versus Man City. The 8 o'clock kickoff. Um, yeah, Man City away from home against Brentford. Brentford have pulled Brentford up some big upsets this great. season. Beat and Liverpool. I'm going to predict them to do it again. It's going to be a 3-2 win for Brentford. Not that. I think, I think it's going to be 2-1 Brentford. Who's going to break No, them? City wow. look unstoppable. City have won one, eight in one, a row. 1-1. One, one. City have won eight in a row going to struggle against Brunswick. City will score once and then like... I'm over sticking to, like, my, Tony I'm doing my prediction. Or that bloke, what's his name, Visser, will come on like he always does, like he did against Liverpool and just yeah. slide tackle the ball into the goal. I'm going to go for a, a, a Rico Henry goal. Mm-hmm. Decent. Then a <sighs> come on, any city player that ten of them. Good for Brentford, and then Mate. Tony. He doesn't play. He does. He doesn't. He does. Okay. Because they've got injuries, and he did one the cup. Um, and then for City, it's going to be a Mo. No, I almost said Mo Salah. Oh, uh, get on with it. Bernardo Silva. And a John Stones header. How boring. 3 2 Brentford. That, what? John Stones header. Yeah, John Stones That's header. Pathetic goals. Alright. John is oh. going to come off of jo- oh. jo- John Stones. is going to perform a scorpion kick. Yes. And it's going to go top corner. What a goal. Right. On to the first of the Thursday games. And it's, uh, it's the Rafa Derby. It's Everton versus Newcastle. Rafa's current job against Rafa's previous job. Um, if you ignore that little blip in China. But yeah, Everton, a bit out of form at the moment. Newcastle would have just come off the back of a 2 0 win at United. No. They'll probably come off the back of a loss at United. Or a lot, or a big effort to try and win. I'm going to go for yeah. Everton to win 4 0. What? Yes. Everton to win 4 0. You sure? 
And wow. then and then Rafa just runs over to the Newcastle fans, apologises and no. re-signs the Newcastle contract. I'm going to say 2-1 Newcastle. Yeah, I, can see I that think happen. Callum Wilson, Anderson, Maxi Man, and Everton will score with Richarlison, but it will be offside. And then um, I'm going to go Calvert-Lewin. Gray, Townsend against his old club, uh, Richarlison and Calvert-Lewin are still injured, so I'm going to go for a John this? Joe Kenny. He's not even there. John Joe, um, Seamus Cole. <laughs> ben Godfrey, Screamer. Yeah, but no. Edda. Who's the other centre back? Keane? Yeah. Keane's going to score a scorpion kick into the yeah. top corner. Serious <laughs> predictions over here on the Football Chat channel. That's why you should subscribe. You know what he's going to do? He's going to control it with his chest. And then just like knee, knee it, it up. Do that thing where you put it on the back of your no, neck. No, it's not. No. It's gonna, he's gonna, then he's going to like knot it up. And then he's going to head it. He's going to hit his knee and go in. Anyway, it's going to come for shit. Last of the game week 20 games. It's Man United versus Burnley, Burnley. at Old Trafford. I'm going to go for a Sue Fest 6 0 United. <laughs> Burnley don't concede. They do when it's Not that Ronaldo. Many. They don't concede that many. I'm going to say 1 0 Ronaldo in like the 50th minute. Nope. A bit of a boring game. 6 0 United. I think it be six. United don't score for that many dominance. on the Ranjik. At they, one nil. Now they're, they're well, we get... say that, but the other week they're probably like bad. Bad, Newcastle, yeah, just so bad Newcastle three days before yeah. it. But we can't yeah. see that yet, so we're just going I'm off. Say one nil United. Ronaldo. Super. Yeah, I'm going six nil. It's going to be Ronaldo's going to get a hat trick, and then goals from Fred, Wamba Saka, and Luke Shaw. In what's <laughs> known as the worst version of a hat trick yeah, ever <laughs> but yeah so you... that is about everything for this week's this week's premier league fixtures if you have enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe some big games we um yeah we're not covering any on tfc live yet but we will be back hopefully in the early into the new year but yeah we're actually we're actually half so now we're over halfway through the season we are yeah at this point 18 put, 18 game weeks to go put down in the comments who you yes. think will win the league Exactly what he said. But yeah, if you are listening on Spotify, make sure to head over to the YouTube and do that. And if you're on the YouTube, head over to the Spotify, show it some love. 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 Love, love. Show it some love. And uh, and, uh, hit the little little plus, which I think means to add it to your favourites. And then hit the little up arrow, which is a download, Download which is good. That helps us out a lot. Do that. Whatever. No, I think it's up. But, Make sure you um, play it all the way through. I want to see a big green bar across the bottom. Yeah, do that as well. And yeah. Head over there, show some love. But yeah, if you have enjoyed, um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.